Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to The Walk. Today is Sunday, June 18th, and as I told you on Friday, we are going to look back at Galatians 5.22. <clears throat> we're going to dissect that very closely, and um, we're going to finish up Galatians 5 today. Tomorrow, we'll probably be starting some other new series that the Holy Spirit hasn't shared with me yet. Um I have some things that are knocking around in my head, but I think at this point, they're only my ideas and my ideas are not going to be sufficient. It needs to come from the Lord. So I'm going to wait on him and hopefully by um, the Sunday, sometime on Sunday, I know what it is. So I'm ready to record for Monday. So Galatians 5.22 gives us this list. It says, but the fruit of the spirit. And then we have this long list. We've got love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Now, here's the interesting thing. The majority of this chapter has been about the difference between falling, at, fall, falling, following a false teaching and following the Holy Spirit. Now, when you look at that list, there are nine elements in it. Nine. So what does the number nine mean when you see it in the Bible? It's a, it's a, it means that you are turning toward. You are either turning away from God or you are turning toward God, but you're turning toward something. So this whole chapter has been about whether or not you're turning towards that spirit of religion or you're turning towards following the Holy Spirit. If you're turning towards following the Holy Spirit, you're going to have these elements in your life. You're going to see that. Here's the other thing that's interesting here. And a lot of people make this mistake. It says, but the fruit, it is one fruit. It's not the fruits of the spirit with an S. It's singular. It is one fruit. This fruit has all of these elements. These are not a list of spiritual gifts where you're going to have one and not the other necessarily and where you're going to have it all in proportion to what the Holy Spirit gives you. What's going to happen is the Holy Spirit's going to empower you to serve Jesus Christ and through that you will bear this fruit and this fruit includes love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Now, as I look at that and I think to myself, the word Christian means to be Christ-like. If we're to bear this fruit, having all of these elements makes us more Christ-like. When you think about the life of Christ prior to the ascension, you can see his love, his joy, his peace, his patience, his kindness, his goodness, his faithfulness, his gentleness, his self-control. And against these things, there is no law. So what's that saying? In the Old Testament, law is not against these things. The Old Testament law was created to point out the things that are against these things so you can purge it out of your life. The Old Testament law still has value, but it's not where we put our faith. Our faith belongs in Jesus Christ. And in verse 24, it says, and those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. That means we're putting to death those passions and desires that come from our flesh. We are turning our back on it. We are turning away from it and we are turning towards the Holy Spirit. If we live by the Spirit, let us also keep in step with the Spirit. That means we're following his leading relentlessly. It doesn't have to make sense to my human brain. All that matters is that the Holy Spirit told me to do it, and my job is to be relentlessly obedient to that. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another and envying one another. Now, the Holy Spirit's able to empower you to do amazing, incredible things. Don't let those amazing things feed your pride. That's not all about you. It's not about your glory. Those things happened for God's glory and keep that straight in your mind. 
So as you go into your prayer closet today, look at Galatians 5.22 to the end of the chapter and really pray over that fruit of the Spirit and keep praying that the Holy Spirit guide you and lead you in serving him. Have a wonderful, oh, today's Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to all you fathers. I'm sorry, I almost forgot because um, I'm recording this on Friday. Um, so have a wonderful Father's Day. God bless and keep walking the walk.